Hey ladies and gents, yes there are two of me on the screen right now, but I'm going to do a video um, a little differently. So this video um, was a new new game in the jungle. Um, I'm actually going to be putting this out uh, relatively soon, but it's a critique of existing gameplay I did earlier in a week. So the game for me in the first 20 minutes was pretty perfect. I mean I was able to secure a dragon, get our rift. Uh, I made a couple mistakes which I also critiqued as I was going through editing. But um, I thought actually playing through the video and then commenting on those critiques as well as um, kind of giving my own uh, commentary on myself <laughs> might be a little interesting. So um, anyway, I'm going to just go through and I'm going to play this video and then um, kind of comment in and out as I go. Um, but what I want to try to stress is that Nunu is a great champion right now. And... Uh, with his abilities, you can get out of bronze, you can get out of iron, you can get into silver, that's where I'm at right now. I can't say you can get out of silver with it because I haven't gotten out of silver with Nunu yet, but uh, I think the potential is there. And uh, when we go through this, uh, you'll see. At like LP24 and silver 4, we're currently playing against um, Kha'Zix. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the recall again on 450. Okay, so here is the, the ward trick, and I might explain this as I'm doing it, but um, I'm going to put a ward in this bush at 50 seconds, okay? So 48 seconds right now, that's why I'm moving to the bush right now. With Nunu, you can face check, sort of. I just put it right at the corner inside the bush so that I don't go farther than I need to, but then I come back. And so if I get tagged with a hook or something, I should be able to get out with my flash if, if I need to, but he's really tanky, and so level one abilities don't really threaten me too much. Um, and then I'm going to recall in a safe spot, about the same spot I'm standing right now, uh, and go back and swap out the uh, the ward for an oracle lens. And that way when I'm doing my level 2 or level 3 gank, then um, I have the ability to scan the bush before I go in to, to ensure that I have the best positioning possible. Alright, so I get a good leash from Zyra with their plants. I'll have to adjust the audio levels a little bit, that was loud. And um, that that allows me to not have to use a whole lot because with my bite, I'm at... We're gonna get our Krugs because we need to get level two. I'm at 248, uh, I'm sorry, 596 out of 655. So pretty much about 95%, 90 to 95%. As soon as possible. So we go to our Krugs, which is what you should be doing. But I don't kite very well. This is kind of a bad leash here. Since I'm wanting to gank um, bot, I should have probably gone raptors because that would have given me three here. Yes, that's true. You could have gone raptors, but Krugs is something that you want to respawn immediately. You want it to respawn at the, the 440 mark. So we want to get Krugs as our first if we're going to start out on this red bot. Um, so this isn't efficient clear. I don't do this right this entire game. I'll try to upload some footage from another game to kind of show you an example of what that looks like. Um, all right. Now, by using my snowball there, I can't use it for level 2 gank for 10 seconds. Which, if I wanted to use it right now, I couldn't. I'd have to wait 3 seconds. So I get this off a little late. Also, if you give them an extra like ping early, then they can start positioning themselves a little bit better too. So I don't get anything good there. There's nothing great. But it is level 2 gank. You push this in. Now I want to get experience. I want to push this in to the tower so they deny CS in case they're going back. This gives me Thank flat. You. You're at level three. This gives me a flat experience um, uh, on those minions, and so that allows me to to get a really good hit of. I mean, that's an entire camp right there. That's my Raptors level three. So now I'm at level three. I've got my third skill. If I was Ramus, I'd be getting taunt. Um, and. Uh, now I can go in and, and my scuttle is not going to be up yet. I still got probably about 15 seconds for scuttle because I think it's 303. I think it comes up 315. So I have a couple options here. 
uh, I can either invade and go towards uh, their blue over here, um, or I can, uh, um, and that's, I would only do that if I saw maybe a gank up here on the top, or if I knew they started on red and I had good timing to get there, since I've only done two camps in a small gank. Um, or I can go straight into my Raptors and continue farming. This this would be like if I was playing Vi, right? Vi is not that good of a dueler until she's level six. And so, um, you know, I wouldn't want to do that with Vi, but maybe if I was playing Odir, which is really good at level one and two, level three, then I can go in and invade and hopefully get a fight. Um, the third option here is to gank. Um, I've got 15 seconds, so I can do a quick uh, snowball into mid lane. It would be preferable if we didn't have priority here and they were back here in the mid lane. Then that would allow me to come in from behind and, and probably get a successful gank. Now he just pushed up in the tower here, so I can't necessarily do that. So I'm going to try to just put some pressure on there and give presence since I have to waste time anyway and uh, get my, um, get my uh, scuttle. So I try to get behind him, but I think he sees me, and so I kind of just end up wasting a little bit of time there. All right, Scuttle should be up now. But I, Scuttle has to come up anyway. Now you want to use the snowball to reduce the defenses of this to get it down faster. So I'm going to use it right here, I believe. Yeah, and then we're going to queue it. And I use smite because I don't know where the jungler's at right now. Now I can use the Oracle lens there and they don't have vision in that bush. So now I can sit there and kind of wait for them to get in a poor positioning here or press up too much. And then I can go in and get, now we have vision in both these bushes thanks to our bot. But I try my best to block her off and force her to come back so that we can get these stuns off. And we get a kill. So again, here I make a mistake. Again, uh, one of the rules of, of ganking is to ensure that you uh, push in the wave after you do a, a successful gank. Uh, if as long as there's no threat, you know, I've got, um, what, what is that, Malkai up there on top and Vagar in the middle. Um, I just saw the other two. So yeah, we could get counter ganked right here, but we are almost all full health. Um, I can always bite and then be a full health almost and we just destroyed one of their uh, bottom lanes so i don't expect a 3v2 um gank right uh, counter gank and so we should push this wave in we should i should let him get or let caitlin get all the cs and i can help just kind of whittle it down i typically take the canyon minion when i do a successful gank because they're already ahead by that gank so usually they don't rage at me for taking this but this is a good chunk of gold for me and it uh, allows me to heal as well. I don't do that. I actually leave river. But it's always good to push this in, then leave. All right, I get some more experience. Just feed off that lane a little bit. All right, we'll go ahead and get our raptors. Okay, raptors are up. And then also our top is up. Where's 440? Oh, it should be up. Yep, right 440. There you go. So, in the beginning of this episode, I had looked through my notes, and 440 is what I wanted to hit. It was a gold mine. So, I actually did that really well. I'm um, here, 440. These Krugs respawn. This is the perfect time to grab them. Go ahead and get our Krugs. And then we'll go back. And again, in this scenario, I would have, if I had entered that way, I would have come back here. I would have come back here and let this one follow me and then hit that and let this guy kind of come around the edge. And then I would move a little bit over here and it would follow me and I would hit it while the other one's still trying to move around the edge. And that would usually get me this one down before that. And then I could strike those other two with just AOE and, uh, and get this Gronk down with the bite. Said I'm getting taking both hits. I need to get a uh, control ward so I can watch out for dragon. At level two, this isn't ideal. Okay. 
So right now, I'm looking for dragon right now. I'm looking for where's the jungler? Do we have vision in the river? This is the timing. Uh, five minutes is uh, when you start needing to get vision of that dragon. Because if you have a Master Yi or if you have another type of fast um, clear jungler, Sejuani, uh, there's a good possibility that they can clear that on their own. And if you don't have vision in there, they can do it in the pocket. And you won't even know, even if you have a river scuttle. I got to go back soon. I've got a thousand gold. Thousand is where I go back, typically. As long as I have thousand, eleven hundred or so, I can usually go back, upgrade my item, get boots, and a control ward. Okay, so she's going to roam. That's fine. So I upgrade, get my boots, I get a control ward. Control ward is simply just to put on dragon. Sometimes uh, support will automatically have that ward there if you have a good support or if you have a support that has jungle Thanks experience. I'm just gonna back up my thumb. Thumbs up. Like, okay. Apparently, I can't talk and play at the same time because just by thinking about um, <laughs> my emote that I put on my T, on my keyboard T, to, you know, my thumbs up, okay, I ran into the statue because I can't focus on doing two things at once. Those type of mechanics is what keeps you on the elo. So sometimes it helps to not talk at all and just focus. Because I just waste a bunch of time by hitting that. 250 it would be um, 510, 710. I'm trying to calculate the, uh, the Krug return. <laughs> I'm not good at it in game. All right, so we got a good gank here at bot. I mean, that guy's not going anywhere. Now, I do my best to try to get an assist here, and I end up getting a kill. I just wanted to get the assist. I didn't care about the uh, the KS. I mean, snowballs don't do a lot of damage that out. on level 1, but it was enough to get the last hit. Anytime you run into Scuttle like this, take it. Don't even think about it. You can probably take that little war thing off. In fact, anytime you're near a jungle camp and there's not a team fight, take it. Whenever you do a full clear, do so. Again, just as long as there's not a team fight. Don't go into the darkness. You don't know what's going on there. We see the junglers up there. So if you got that, that's fine. Could be 3v2 in that situation. One of our guys peels off. All right, so I'm looking for another gank here. He's I don't... just gonna hug that tower the whole time. I'll get my raptors and come back. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself, bud. Dang, I need to get rid of that mechanical oh, keyboard. It'd make life a lot easier, wouldn't it? Auto attack was on, by the way. Now, I should have moved him to the bush here. I will drag him into the forest here. The forest, yeah, because I can't say bush and while I'm playing. There's always one <laughs> left. There's always, always one left. We're going to get Krugs. Yeah, let's rewind that real quick. I see this all the time. It's I don't know if it's like a, a glitch or what, but look at that. So he's got one health. One. How is that possible? And it happens all the time. If you watch my videos, you'll see there's always one left. It's like, oh, this skill um, would have killed this guy, but unfortunately we can't allow that to happen without another attack, auto attack. So let's go ahead and just put a one there. I don't know. Maybe there's something I don't know about League of Legends, but I don't think that should ever happen. If it does, it should happen like once always every one year. Left. There's always, always one left. We're gonna get Krugs. So Krugs are back up. We want to grab it. That's a lot of experience. We were about twelve fifteen when we started. We'll get another seventy. It's ten. Eighty. Ninety, hundred, ten. How's top lane doing? Top lane's winning. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So one hundred and fifty gold. That's that's a lot of gold. And let's look at the experience real quick. Oh, 
clear too. So I'm at like 25% level six. When I'm done, look at that. Look at that. That's like a half a level right there on level six. If I would have gone to my top and did like level ones, because these are all still level ones, I wouldn't have got nearly as much experience. I get more in that cru and that crug clear than I do in all of this. All right, got a decent uh, attack on that. That's just positioning. And again, I take the canyon minion. We got a kill there. Why didn't she use it? So she didn't use her heal when she should have. So this is why she didn't end up dying. Yes, there. Can we push this a little bit? Now here, you shouldn't get greedy. Push to the first plate, get out. If she wants to continue pushing, let her push. Remember, this is the support, so you can take the CS while the ADC is coming back. Just be mindful of the distance here. The tower. Getting good experience. I don't want to lose that. You don't want to take the uh, bottom lane's CS. She can get it, but if she can't get it, take it. Now we should be leaving I right now. Exact. I'm not of mana. I'm gonna go back. Not the best place to go back because they know I'm in that bush. I could have gone to try. Say she almost hit me. Kha'Zix up here. Careful. Cinder Helm. Uh, Merc Treads is fine. Now, my notes say here that, uh, you know, if, if I have out of mana, it doesn't mean that I'm useless. I still have AoE. I still have the ability to tank damage. Those are two factors that allow me to be um, useful in a fight. So depending on the scenario, depending on where the other enemies are on the map, I can choose to stay or leave. There's been a lot of times where I had no mana and I stuck around just tanking some hits and taking some uh, cooldowns and we were able to win the fight because eventually my mana got up to where I was able to bite. And I was able to take a good chunk out of somebody. Need another control ward. And then I'll head back. Always try to get a control ward every time you get back. Always ping the jungler every single time you see him. Mm, that is, nope, second kill of the day. So he's mid right here, but I am focusing on my snowball, so I don't see it, I don't think. Okay, yeah, we'll get our... Drugs are up for the fourth time. Take it again. We're at about half here. Another half level. So just on clearing Krugs twice, I've gone up a full level. That's pretty great. Now my Oracle lens is up, so I could have um, scanned that bush to see if there's anybody there. Which is what I do. So there is. So I just clear the ward. You don't want to gank. If there is a ward there, you just want to clear it. and Kind of go to one camp and come back. Alright, we'll clear that for next time. I'm going in right now. And he's pushed up, so we're going to gank. I get lucky you're not getting hit by that on the first ring. Here I want to secure the kill, so I use my ult. Now with a high burst damage tar target, that's somebody that can like, you know, one, two, hit, okay, we'll get kill you. Uh, scuttle up here. I'll do that too. I'll use my ult just to secure it and ensure that he doesn't destroy me as soon as he pops out. Just help that. Okay, let's look back here real quick. This is a bad example of going into a bush. Now, I'm going into their jungle. There's no vision of the jungler. It could be right here in that tri bush waiting for me. He could have seen me cross mid with Vagar and been right here waiting for me to come up and try to try to help with this tower. So face planting or face checking this bush, face planting. That's what would happen if I face checked and he was there um, is a bad idea. So what do I use? What do I have in my toolkit? I don't have Oracle Lens, it's on a 38 second cooldown. So I can do um, 
my control ward there. I can pop it and put it in this bottom corner here uh, when I'm coming up around, or I could go in through the rift uh, and do that tri ward right there. So I can actually just um, stand in the stand in the hole here, and I think you can reach this tri bush with a uh, control ward. Anyway, you want vision in this. You don't want to just walk in through it. The other option would be to snowball into it or start throwing snowballs in and see if they hit. So um, uh, if they hit a target, you know that a target's in there. But I do have flash in case I get stuck. Um, I do have my smite, which will give me some additional damage on them um, or slow them if I need to get away. Um, I also can E my way away. If I walk into the bush and he's there, I can E myself away uh, and then W out. So I have, I have an escape options. So it's not horribly risky, but any other champ, um, you're gonna want to try to have vision there. Just help that. And I do it a, a second time here. He could have been there too. Now we see that um, Malkai goes back. I don't know, I think that's Malkai. Um, I don't know who that is. I'll see you next time I bring up the thing. I just want that one. I don't want the other one. No, it's not Melkai. <laughs> he should be safe now. Let's see if we can get Scuttle here. I don't know if it's... Uh... Now, if I didn't have an Oracle lens, you'd want to place a, a ward in that, that hole there for a Rift. But I've got 1248. Now, this is like... This is 1250 is the latest you're going to be able to take this as Nunu, okay, by yourself. Um, the reason why is because you can't do DPS hard enough without a leash or help or assistance. And so I can take this if, I don't, if I'm not bothered, if I'm not interrupted, and have enough time to deploy it onto a tower before the 1400 mark so that um, we, can, uh, we can get some plates. Uh, now, we'll see how this plays out. Always swing behind so you don't get hit by the, the initial burst. Smash your button a thousand times. Early to be getting this because they're getting the other drag. But we do see him down. Yeah, that's right. So he can't be here to smite it. A little bit safer there. I did an early smite, didn't need to. If I had known or saw him down there earlier, I would have done the smite and let it cycle 15 seconds to come back so I could use it a second time on the rift. All right, here we go, we take it. And then look at the timing, 1331. Plates fall off at 14. This is where I make a mistake in this video is I don't place this immediately down in this bush. This is what I should have done and pushed in mid. All right, we've got Vagar and the jungler down at the bottom corner. So they're not going to be able to react to this. And I could have gotten probably two, three, possibly a whole tower of plates because Zyra is going to be up in this lane here in a second. But I fail to, and I, and I end up using it down here at the bottom uh, for bot lane. But this is a lost opportunity here that would have gotten us a really far lead up in mid. All right, now we'll go ahead and grab this and we'll push it down on the bot tower. Get it. Dang it. Now I'm horrible at CSing, so I'm surprised I got that many. I tower shot. Boom. No. Boom. <laughs> like a noob. But this is the tower we could have gotten down. He would have taken out half that. It would have taken out the rest of this, even if that, you know, Kha'Zix had come up. I got lucky there I didn't get cream because I was paying attention to uh, right, Kha'Zix. Now the 14 minute mark is just a lap, so there's no more plates. Alright, we're going to use this right here. And here it is. Come on, say it. Did before 14, though. That would have been nice. It would have been. Thank you. Just escort it down. Now, Zyra's doing a great job by going through the jungler on this because we do have priority to come assist if she gets caught, but it also gives us vision on that side so we have a little bit of a safer adventure over here. 
Now, as soon as we're done pushing here, we need to rotate to mid. Mid's the next tower objective. I don't think um, dragons Perfect. good choice. Go back. That's fine. But uh, we can ward it at least. Did you see Kha'Zix right there? Don't want to counter invade on that dragon. All right, let's go ahead and get this. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Okay, Kate's over, and Kha'Zix just went north. So right now we have a numbers advantage. So if you look at this numbers advantage, we've got um, him up here. We've got um, four uh, around this dragon. We've got vision here in this lane from those minions. We've got vision up here, kind of. Uh, I believe even before they got there, there was a ward there. Uh, we've got vision on the side here. So we're pretty covered um, and they can always collapse back down and help us if there is an issue. Now, if these two get picked off in the jungle, then we're going to ward off and try to get this. But look at how much health we already are at just from the two of us. Uh, we're gonna be able to get this uh, pretty safely. Thank you for wasting your R on that. Because she tries to steal it, she gets killed. He tries to help her, he gets yeah. killed. Oh, I can't do it, dang it. And that's what low elo is all about, baby. I'm gonna go over here and grab some health. Just really bad, bad, bad plays. Bad decisions. I'm gonna push this lane in because that's good CS for me. And remember, this is flat experience. Bot lane's dead, and my alt and flash are up, so I can always escape if I need to. Where am I at, CS-wise? 96? Still not impressive. Still fit way far behind. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. Give me a break. I think he took that. That's why he went north when I was at Dragon. Okay, I'm not going to even mess with an ADC. I'm, I don't have enough DPS to withstand that. I might be able to win that fight if he's very weak, but I could also get collapsed since I'm so far pushed up. That's why objective is after Dragon. It's going straight to that tower. And remember, I only have Cinder Hulk and Boots right now. And the Boots are for AP, not AD. But that doesn't even help me in that fight. I think we cleared this tower. No, we don't. We get close, though. All right, he's coming here. Now, I've got my whole bottom clear to do if I wanted to, but I'm going to stick around for a second, make sure that they don't get a numbers advantage on us. And I see an opening here. Now, my R does get interrupted, or I think I flash out of it. What did I do here? He's coming here. I think I flashed into my ult and then it got interrupted right away. Yeah, I flashed in, did an ult and got interrupted with his uh, gateway. I almost get this, but I, I think I back out. If we'd gotten that tower initially, we'll that would have been a problem. There we go. Sweet! We got the tower. That was really loud. Ah, my ears. You're about to die, brother. I'll get back though. I'm low on health. Okay, so let's break down this play real quick. Okay, now their top is there. He's susceptible. He's been pushed around by Kanan the whole time, so I go for him. Kanan's coming in on a teleport, so I know I'm... Oh, then there's Kasich. I gotta get out. I don't want to stick around in a 2v1 fight while Kanan's still teleporting in. I'm at had health. Alright, I'm gonna go back and get my red. Everybody's kind of dispersing. Just my camps. So it's I safe for us down, to, so. to farm. We gotta clear our camps. Yeah. That was one of the recommended suggestions, uh... Yeah. From skill capped, which I'm just just now starting to use, and uh, they said that anytime you, your ultimates, anytime your ultimates off, you should be farming unless there's a team fight. 
Get that, and I'll pop over and get my Krugs. Okay, again, I don't leash this very well. But I did a good job dropping the ward on Dragon because the Dragon will be coming up again. Um, since we're in the lead right now, 19 to 11, Baron's not going to be something they're going to grab unless they get like a good um, comeback. So I don't really need to necessarily ward it. The river scuttles enough. Now Zyra's coming up from the north. I'm coming up from the south. But we'll secure this kill. Now thanks to uh, Caitlyn's ult. Uh, we were able to secure that. I wanted to smite, but... And here at the top, you know, these are just listing some of the things just off the top of my head. You might be able to get him with my snowball. We're hitting 20 minutes right now, and I made this a 20-minute video for a reason. If you start every game like this, you're going to have a very high success push. rate. Push, push, push. I'm pushing 65, 75% victories with Nunu. Yes, I do have horrible, horrible games. But, uh... I do have horrible games with Nunu, of course. Um, I've gone, um... I think 0-6 one time. A few assists. Sometimes you're just going to get counterpicked. And sometimes they're going to be better than you. And that's okay. Um, those games, you're not going to have a whole lot of, um... Uh, ability to turn the tide in your favor because you're a tank jungler. You know, if they're if your ADC and your mid and your top are all struggling, it's gonna be very hard for you to ever do anything. Even if you focus on objectives and you farm well and you do everything right, you're still gonna lose. So you just take it. You know, that's the way league is. That's the way any type of ranking system is. is you're gonna have those games where it's unavoidable to win. But uh, then you'll have those games where you know you are in those shoes and you dominate and you have a perfect match and a perfect game. And you get like an 8, 0, and 15, like I did in previous game. Um, or the 2S games, which you won't see because I didn't get a chance to record it because I ran out of storage space. Um, where, you know, you just dominate. But then you're going to have those games where you're both even, you know. You've got a good counter, you know, maybe, you know, Nunu got counterpicked by Ramus, I mean, uh, you know, but they're both good tanks. And now it's whoever mechanically plays better in their micro or macro. And this means, you know, who's got better vision in the rivers and the jungle, who gets the dragons timing correctly and has actual pull from their teammates to get it down in time. You know, who actually got the rift, who got it before 14. You know, all these things matter if we go back to this list here. Um, I think there were only 12. Yeah. So, you know, as you're playing, you want to look for lane priority. That means um, making sure that your guys can react to the scene faster than the other guys. So if, if you know, you're pushed in, I'm sorry, if, if they're pushed in against their tower, that means you've given your jungler priority, you know. Um, you're going to look for numbers advantage. Don't pick fights where it's 4v3 and, uh, I'm sorry, 3v4 and you're, you have less numbers in them. Don't, you know, be aware of who's on the map, who you can see at that time. Vision helps with that uh, to determine if you have a better outcome of winning this fight. And then if somebody is like, let's say, Draven, and they're totally and absolutely fed, well, you don't want to uh, attack him. He counts as like two people. So you've got to just do those numbers in your head. Um, and then gank and regank. Now, I ganked bot like the entire time. I ganked mid a couple times, but they weren't really that successful except that one um, second time. But you're going to want to gank the, the lane that you just ganked because their summoner spells are going to be down. They're going to be weak because they, they lost out on CS. They had to go back early and didn't get their items um, timings correct. So that's a good um, opportunity for you to just take advantage of that. And then you want to farm when your ult is on cooldown. We discussed that earlier. Um, you don't want to face check and end up getting um, slaughtered. Uh, you want to utilize your Oracle lens and your control ward every time you have an opportunity to. So if your control ward is not down, you need to put it down somewhere on either an objective or in the enemy jungle, somewhere where it can stay hidden for a while. Um, and Oracle lens should be used every single time it comes up, either in a gank or in clearing an area or in, um, uh, you know, scanning for wards in your own area. Okay. Um, dominate the Krug cycle. If you can get those at 440 and then when they recycle at, um, you know, 7 and 15 and then they recycle again i don't even know the the counts but it get them every single time they come up and that'll keep your experience level with everyone else's experience see if you look in the screenshot we got 10 10 12 and 12. i stayed up with 
Um, who was that? Um, I think that was their mid. No. Yeah, I think that was our mid. So I have more experience than our bot lane. I mean, I know I stole some experience from them when I was pushing their lanes, but they won their lane. They're happy. I got the experience I needed to stay up. And with my Krugs, I was able to do though. Uh, maintain vision in the river, as we talked about. Nail the 14th window, <laughs> 14 minute rift window. Uh, and always have an escape plan. So even if I went into those tribe bushes, face check, do I have flash up? Can I E away? Do I have an escape? If you're playing a different jungler champler than Nunu, what are your escape methods? If you don't have any, you probably shouldn't be face checking at all. You should get yourself caught or you'll just blow your flash and then you won't have that for a kill later that you're gonna need. Avoid chasing. Remember when I was chasing into the bush and they kept ping, 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 warning, warning, warning. I didn't plan on going in. I just wanted to kind of show face, but I can get caught there. Maybe if there's pike and I get hooked or a thresh and I get hooked or a blitz and I get hooked. Um, you want to be careful and know the composition on the other team because those plans can turn very deadly very quick and that can be the turn of the entire battle because if I had gotten caught that instance, you know, and I didn't get the dragon, they could have just gotten the dragon and I would have been screwed the rest of the game. And then always rotate and assist objectives. So as soon as we got this tower with Rift and we got up to the second tower and got the second tower with Rift, we need to get all the tier one towers all T2 towers, and then all T3 towers. I know people like want to rush and go in and get like um, just a straight line to the, to the uh, inhibitors and go mid lane and, and skip all the towers on the, on the top and bottom lanes. But what ends up happening is your minions are getting cut off at those towers. And so you're putting yourself into this trench that you have to somehow get out of in case they collapse on you. And that'll be a problem. So you don't want to you want to take out each objective and so as soon as you see progress being made in this objective and, and and it's good for you to take off and they can finish it up start moving to the next objective put pressure simultaneously in more than one lane and, and you'll do much much better uh, anyway i know that there's a lot to go over in this video um i i do hope you learned something um, this will be my second edit on this just because i'm doing this kind of um, duality type thing but I, I hope that you learned something i hope it um, was beneficial to you uh, if you did, uh, you know, give me a like in the video, and uh, I'll probably do some more of these type of analysis uh, videos on my own, just so I can improve my own game. I don't want to be in silver forever. I'm in silver four now. I've got half a season to go. I want to get up in gold and finish my series. So, um, thank you for watching, guys, and God bless.